Hey everybody, just uh, wanted to give you uh, a little bit of a sense of what uh, our life has been like as we've been doing our kitchen remodel. So um, <clears throat> while the kitchen has been uh, kind of uh, out of commission, we needed a place to actually, uh, you know, have our kitchen and, and make our meals and do what we need to do. So what we've done, let me just kind of show you around what we've, what we've been doing to uh, kind of manage our life with that. So just to give you a sense of, this is the kitchen. Um, I got two of the cabinets back in and kind of just uh, dry fit them to uh, make sure everything's lining up properly. But before that, uh, while everything was out, while we were doing the floor, we had all the cabinets over here in this area. So I actually had those other two cabinets, uh, one here and then one stacked on top of that. So we had very little space in this area. Um, and then we used our sunroom as our makeshift kitchen. So I moved the refrigerator over to this area. And then I took the old peninsula cabinet um, that I will probably use in the garage at some point in the future. So I've kept all the drawers and doors and everything like that. And, but what we've done is, uh, you know, put this here, use the old countertop. Um, you know, we got, uh, my wife bought a, a little uh, oyster um electric fryer here. Um, we also have a wok that we use occasionally, but the, this works just, just as well as the wok does almost. Um, and then we have a toaster oven that is a, a convection toaster oven. So it actually works like, you know, any other oven. So it's been getting some hard use. We've, we've used this quite a bit, even in our old kitchen, we used it a lot. Um, and we like it, um, you know, hopefully the new ovens, um, the microwave, um, that we got the built-ins um, will kind of eliminate both of the whether well, it's combined it's supposed to do both what a convection oven and a microwave does um, the only problem that we run into is that you can only use one at a time because it takes up so much power so we kind of have to um, change the plug from back and forth when we add you know we just need to make sure that this one's not on when that one's on or else it will blow the circuit we've been using a lot of plastic utensils uh, we had used the, our main utensils, but we started buying plastic. It just made it a whole lot easier. And uh, your trusty paper plates. So we use a lot of that, um, you know, and trying to keep keep things uh, clean and tidy is, is pretty difficult with, you know, the, the amount of stuff that you're trying to uh, use on a daily basis. This is our staging area for breakfast cereals and, and different snacks and things like that. And then I took, uh, we had our, uh, the kids' entertainment center where they had their um, Nintendo gaming, the t a little small TV that was there that's actually back there now. We can clear everything off and put our fruit fruit there and then the coffee maker. So it's our kind of our coffee maker, maker staging area. Um, and you know, we just, we keep one or two cups and, and that's what we've been doing. Um, seems to be working for us. Um, we've been like this for probably uh, I want to say three months at this point, four months, close to four months, because uh, uh, we I pretty much started demoing the kitchen, like taking everything out in March. So um, it's it's been you know quite some time at this point. We're we're almost ready to get back into it. Um, so we're 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 working feverishly to try to get uh, get the kitchen at least within a sink and the countertop so that we can kind of start using it. And I'll put the appliances in and then. You know, I'll finish the doors and drawers and all that as we continue to move forward. But at least we'll be able to use the main guts of the kitchen and um, kind of move some of this stuff out of here. So when we first started the kitchen and I started um, pulling things out, we, we bought some racks. And I wanted to show you kind of how, how we first started. First started in the dining room. So now you can look at the dining room. We got junk everywhere. Uh, so I bought two of these racks. First, I bought one. And then as I slowly deconstructed uh, the kitchen, I noticed that I was like, I got I to gotta get another one. So I ended up getting another one. So we have a lot of, a lot of our stuff here. Uh, we'll probably purge m a lot of this stuff, um, things that we just don't use. You just you don't realize how much stuff you have in your kitchen or in your house until you start you know, packing it away and trying to uh, you know, empty that location out so you can do you know, a remodel. So... So we got all that stuff in here, um, and I highly recommend getting shelves if you're going to do a remodel, because it helps. And then over in the formal living area, we still have a few boxes and some things. Um, and then 
we had coats in the closet that was in the kitchen, so we had to find a place for it while we we're doing our painting. So it's in here. And then we have the new uh, appliances in, in the formal living room. So there, so there really isn't a, uh, a, a, a room in the house that isn't being occupied with kitchen items. Um, it's just, it's tough, to, it's tough to find room for, for all this stuff that we have in this one particular room. Um, but this is just kind of where we've been keeping everything. So it's, it's just been, um, you know, chaos in this house. Um, we actually uh, just finally got through uh, cleaning uh, the foyer and mopping it up because there was a lot of concrete dust from, uh, from the mortar um, and just kind of just kind of straightening that up. I need to put the transition in there. Um, but, uh, you know, for right now, um, you know, this is what we've been living in uh, for the last couple of months. And, you know, it's, it's been challenging, um, but I think my, uh, my spouse is, is uh, uh, pretty understanding of, you know, the work that's involved to get this to, uh, to look the way we want it to. Just fortunate that she's been patient uh, with, uh, with my slow work. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, uh, it takes a little bit of patience. It's certainly, um, you know, you can't find everything and you're having to go go around for different things so you know sometimes we have to go into the dining room to get what we need every once in a while we have some stuff in you know in the sunroom and then also we have to go into the uh, fortunately we don't have to do our dishes in the bathroom or in the tub we have a laundry room uh, that has a sink that I've added um, way back when we first moved into the house so we've been doing our dishes here and you know trying to keep it clean and and uh, you know but uh, it's 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 been certainly a challenge, but um, you know we've been able to work through it. So um, that's that's how we've been managing for the last couple of months. I think the first time that uh, you know we started deconstructing, um, you know I had put the the table in here, um, you know for meals and things like that. But uh, and the refrigerator was here, but um, I didn't really uh, we didn't know how long it would be. I, you know I didn't know how. I, kind of had an idea that it would probably be a couple of months, but um, wasn't sure. But initially, my wife was, you know, kind of all, don't feel like doing any kind of cooking. Let's just go ahead and eat out. Well, a, a week's worth of eating out and, and getting fast food and getting, you know, just takeouts and things like that, you kind of get tired. I mean, you just get tired of that, uh, those meals every single day. And, and you know, you want to go back to eating a little more healthy and, you know, you kind of, you just, it just uh, it kind of takes a toll on you. So, you know, I decided, hey, you know, this is not ideal, but I said we have that cabinet that's out in the garage. I can bring it in here and have a countertop to where we can put some of our cooking items here. And, and we can do, for the majority of time, we can cook for, you know, just about anything that we want. The only, one, the only thing that's really problematic is, is you know, when you want to boil water um, or, like, you want to make pasta or something like that. We've tr I've made rice in the microwave. Um, I haven't done pasta. Now she's gotten some frozen pastas, where you can kind of put it in the in the um, this oyster uh, fryer that's actually um, drying right now because we washed it. I said we've uh, we've actually um, you know made pasta that way, but you know that stuff. I guess we go out and eat for those kinds of things. But we've been able to to have a pretty much semblance of you know home cooked meal type of a situation. And then, you know, now that it's summertime, I can use the, uh, the grill outside the gas grill. So, you know, we, we've been able to do um, some of that as well. So anyway, uh, you know, hopefully that's helpful to you and then uh, your remodel. And uh, just to give you a little bit of perspective of, you know, not necessarily the how to, but this is, you know, how we've done, uh, you know, survival of, of the remodel. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and, uh, you know, talk to you soon.